Joe. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy 1929, Joe. Looks like a big year. Pretty Willie's having a big Christmas tree for all the kids on the north side, Joe. We got you down for 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Uh -huh. You want the kids to have nice presents, don't you? Look, I don't mind buying my liquor from Pretty Willie, but if he wants to play Santa Claus, let him play it with his own money. Oh, now, you hadn't ought to have said that, Joe. We come here full of brotherly love and the spirit of Yuletide. Come on, now, 50 bucks and make it snappy. We've got a lot of calls to make. All right. on here? Well, little Bugsy Wills. All right, why did you do it? Hiya, Lieutenant. Who do you like in the third of Florida? Come clean, Bugsy, why? They was using profane language. Not funny. Come on. You can't pin this on me. The whole shoe shine stand next door can prove I was sitting there when the music started. Yeah, well, while you were establishing your alibi, did you see anything? Sure. A long, low man in a coonskin roadster done, and I seen it with my own eyes. Look, Lieutenant, on all three of them. Uh, white carnations, eh? Must be Mother's Day. Looks like that playmate of yours has been at it again. This is Big Ed Hanley's trademark, isn't it? Sure, he wears a fresh one at all times, but I didn't say he'd done this. Yeah, well, it says plenty to me. I've seen guys lying cold with these hothouse posies planted in them before. What do you expect Big Ed to do, stand over him with a watering can? Oh, so he did do it, huh? I ain't saying nothing on the grounds that might incriminate Big Ed. Look, what are you doing for enlarged paws these days? I gotta call the front office and tell him to pick up Big Ed Hanley. Where is he, Bugs? Hey, look, Lieutenant, it stopped snowing. Come on, Bugs, where is he? Who, Big Ed? Yeah, Big Ed. Out someplace practicing his Christmas carols? Nice day, isn't it? Mm. Said it was a nice day. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had that figured out quite a while ago, didn't we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's still a nice day for ducks, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, Big Ed, let's go. The principal wants to see you. Hello, Seamus. Last minute Christmas shopping? Don't be cute, no. Come on, the car's waiting. What's the trouble here? I'm Officer Wilson, Lieutenant. I've been on the... We can handle this, Wilson. Let me in on the wrap, will you, Seamus? You know, so as I know how to handle myself. For a Christmas present, sure. This afternoon over on Clark Street, we found three stiffs with white carnations in their lapels. White carnations? They were pretty Willie's boys, and you and Willie aren't exactly pals, are you? Well, we don't belong to the same lodge, but say, uh, when did this pathetic event take place? Time enough, about an hour ago. Oh, sorry, I can't go bye-bye with you, Seamus. Me and Officer Wilson here are trying to figure out what kind of a day it is. As a matter of fact, we've been trying to decide for the last two hours. Haven't we, Officer Wilson? Why, I, uh... He been here that long? Ask the ducks. Yeah, I'm afraid he has. Okay, okay. Always got an alibi, haven't you? Saves me from commuting in and out of those box stalls of yours. Well, a Merry Christmas, Big Ed. Sorry to have disturbed you. No trouble. Merry Christmas. Hiya, boss. How am I doing? Hmm? Well, I kind of fatten up the score a little. Three more carnations. No work attached. Free ride. Hey, what's eating you, boss? Oh, I know. Yuletide. Makes me kind of sentimental, too. Oh. 
You're kidding, boss. Something's burning you. Where am I going? Tell me that, will you? Where am I going? I don't know. Home? The club. No. What's it add up to? Where does it all pay off? What have I got when you square off and look at it? Tell me that. What have I got? Plenty, boss. A couple of million fish, the town in your hip pocket. That's a lot, boss. It's nothing. I got nothing. Those dumb ducks got more than I got. Freedom, peace of mind. Nothing to worry about but keeping their pants wet. I got that. Oh, I see what you mean. Perfect protection. A guy knocks one of them off, he really gets in trouble. Hiya, Bugsy. Didn't you know fresh air is poison? Well, hiya, babe. Boss, this is Babe. Uh, babe White? I guess you never met Big Ed, huh, babe? No, I never met Mr. Hanley. But I've had some mighty pretty thoughts about him now that I'm a big grown-up girl. Well, there you are, boss. Just what the doctor ordered. Come on. Well, I'll be seeing you, babe. That's beautiful groceries, boss. And the she lined up for you. Forget it. I tell you, Bugs, I've been kidding myself. We're all kidding ourselves. There's no different place to go now you're on top. And you don't know why you wanted to get the way you got to in the first place, see? Maybe you ought to take a whirl at one of them mind doctors. You know, one of them uh, high psychologists. You know, where they make you lie on a couch and you spill everything. Spill everything? Have you blown your top? There's no chance of the guy squealing after he's helped you out. Will we knock him off? Uh, if only there was something new. If only something would happen. Well, you... I know we're supposed to have tolerance for the young, but sometimes it's difficult in Freddie's case. Well, that punk needs a bat in the mouth. Well, I can only apologize for him, but I'll certainly... Here, there's still some back here. There. Will you forgive him, please? And me for allowing it? Why, uh, sure. Certainly, sure. Thank you. You must be a very kind and tolerant man. Rule! There goes Gwendolyn! Oh, like collecting loose rabbits. Thank you again. You know something? What, boss? There's a dame with plenty of class. Yeah? You cotton to that, huh? She's got class. Okay, I'll go talk to her. Nah, you don't make like that with that kind of dame. No? No. Get lost a second. Uh, what goes on here? A sort of a picnic or something? Oh, no. Miss Warren and I were the Playtime Supervision Bureau. We have this little group six afternoons a week. Oh, I get it. Uh, it's a job, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Willie! That's right. I'm a governess on a Freddy, wholesale basis. Freddie, you stop. Now, Freddie, you stop teasing her. There, that's a good boy. You, you like this job? Working with kids? Well, it's a job. And I guess everybody likes children, don't they? <laughs> yeah, sure. Kids are fine. That's rather a silly question, isn't it? I imagine you have some very nice children of your own. Ow, hmm? Freddy, you I said, hurt me. Now, Freddy, that's my last warning. There, that's better. I only meant that with your interest and understanding of children, you must have some very nice ones at home yourself. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah sure, that's right. I got a couple. Boys or girls? Boys. A couple of boys. Oh? Well, that's nice. Well, I don't know. I've been figuring I ought to have some help with them. I'm awfully busy, and with their mother not with us anymore, uh, it just hit me. Would you be interested? Well, I don't know, Mr... Hanley, E.L. Hanley. Well, it depends, Mr. Hanley. You see, uh, How much do they pay you here? Thirty dollars a week. I'll triple it. Even more if things work out right. Well, I certainly... I mean, well, don't you think I ought to see your children first? I mean, if we can get along... I'll, I'll... see to that. Well, and then I couldn't leave the Bureau right away. I'd have to give them a week's notice. Uh, look... My address is here on the card. Why don't you drop by, let's say, tomorrow, 3 o'clock? I couldn't tomorrow. Day after tomorrow? Well, let's see. That's Christmas Eve. Yes, I'll come by then, Mr. Hanley. And uh, my name is Ruth Manning, by the way. Ruth Manning, huh? Well, that's, that's great. That's fine. It's a deal, then? It's a deal, Mr. Hanley. I'll be seeing you then, Miss Manning. Hey, boss, did I hear a couple of them feed lines correct? Did you say shut to Shut up, shut up. Where's the car? Right around the corner. Now, I want you to drive me down to the club, see? Then start rounding up some kids. Boys, see? About the age of them back there. Lots of them for me to look over. Holy cats. Extra, read about the big gang killing. Three die in Christmas murder. Extra, another gang killing. Get going now. As many kids as you can find. I'd rather call on Pretty Willie. 
Hiya, Mr. Hanley. Been kind of busy? <laughs> Hiya, Butch. Hiya, boss. Hiya. Keep your sunny side up. Last week's figures. You wanted to check them. Left and kick, kick. Bum, bum, bum. Donna. Hi, Eddie. Hey, Mamie. All the girls. Well, do you like the new number? I guess so. Well, the boys in blue liked it. I had an audience of cops here this afternoon waiting for you. They saw me. Put your coat on and pack some duds. You're moving up to my joint. Your joint? Have you blown your topper if I regain my girlish chassis? Keep your head. You're going to play housekeeper for a while. Housekeeper? Oh, look, Eddie, I owe you an awful lot, but I... Hurry up. I'll put you wise later. Okay, Eddie. Housekeeper. For a moment there, I thought I hit the jackpot. Uh, run over here, boys. Okay, Mr. Hanley. Well, that's everything, Mr. Hanley. Okay, boys, here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Hanley. Thanks. How's everything look to you, Quentin? Oh, lovely, sir. Just lovely. I haven't made a bed since Biff took me out of that flea bag hotel in Cicero. I think the young gentleman will be most appreciative, sir. And besides, get a load of me. I frighten myself. I look like a police matron. Don't forget I've done you a lot of favors, Mamie. Anyway, it won't be for long. It's just that a girl like that's got to feel... well, that everything's on the up and up at first. You're kind of a chaperone, you might say. If I was in her spot, I sure wouldn't want anybody running interference for me. You don't know this dame. She's different. She's a, a really class package. What's she marked? Don't open till Christmas? Take it easy. Who you shoving? All right, now! Well, here it comes. Ow. Shut up, you crybaby. All right, now get in there. Hey, boss, this little hyena's packing a rod. He's been trying to use it on me. Nothing but a cat pistol. It can't hurt you. It can on the shins. All right, what'd I tell you about that skimmer? Hands off, hands off. Is this monkey the guy? He isn't very big, is he? I'm big enough. It's the best I could do for a starter. You should have got a load of him before I stuffed him into that new suit. Yeah, tell him how many guys you had helping you. Yeah. Who's this?